How can I move the page file to another physical disk location? I would like to know exact instructions for moving the page file from one disk location to another disk in Windows 7, i.e. from an SSD to a non-SSD drive. I've spent about two hours searching, Google, Bing, Bleco, and read many forums. Please don't post philosophical discussions on speed increases or why it's a bad idea to disable paging. I'm looking for a concise answer on how to move the page file. To change page file settings in Windows 7. In the Start Menu search box, type Advanced System Settings and choose the Control Panel applet that should show up, View Advanced System Settings. Under Advanced tab, Performance section, click Settings. Under Advanced tab, Virtual Memory section, click Change. These are the actual settings. Uncheck Automatically Manage Paging File Size for All Drives and you can change these settings. Highlight the drive you want it on, and select either a fixed size or system managed size, and then click set. You have to click the set button. Do the same to remove it from the drive you don't want it on. No paging file. Click OK, 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 and you should be prompted for a reboot. Control Panel, System, Advanced System Settings, Advanced Tab, Settings button under Performance, Advanced Tab, Change button under Virtual Memory. On your SSD drive, change the option to No Paging File. Click Set. On your hard drive, set the option to either Custom Size or System Managed Size. Click Set. OK and Reboot. If you want to completely remove the page file from your system drive, you will need one extra step to Shinrai and Tone's answers. As a comment by Paradroid mentions, Windows requires to have a page file present on your system drive in order to write kernel memory dumps in the event of a crash. So even if you set no page file on your system drive, Windows will end up creating a page file anyway, even if it doesn't actually use it for paging. Trying to delete this page file will show it to be in use. In order to work around this, you have to disable kernel memory dumps, which is also done by going through the advanced system settings. Under the advanced tab, in the startup and recovery section, click settings. In the dialog box that comes up, under the system failure section, and the right debugging information subsection, change the drop down menu to, none. After this, you should be able to delete the page file.sys from your system drive, although you might need to reboot first. At Paranoid you are correct, you need a paging file on the OS partition, the minimum paging file size for the OS partition is 800 MB, for example, for Win 7 Ultimate 64-bit, this could vary, but Windows will tell you if you set it under the recommended size. Follow the instructions already posted to set the paging file on the alternate drive. Then set a small paging file on the OS partition to accommodate a mini dumps and BSOD. 
If you don't set a paging file on the OS partition, every time you boot Windows will create a temp page file .sys the same size as your installed physical RAM. So, if you have 16 GB of physical RAM, the temp page file .sys will be created at 16,308 MB, which is a decent chunk out of your system partition. I recommend researching a bit for anyone who plans on changing paging file settings on a system where lost work could be critical. Here is a very good summary on a Windows Virtual Memory article by Mark Rasinovich.